What is going on guys, Reflex here, and man, it's seeming like time is running out for our Final Fantasy characters. You know, other than that Moogle, let's just hope that was a confirmation that Nomura is just keeping them as a surprise for us. Because if not, then it's not looking good. Because while we did get the final battle trailer, and by far was my favorite all-time Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, it didn't come without a slight sense of disappointment when we didn't even have one Final Fantasy character appear at all. And it dates all the way back to that interview with Nomura about the Final Fantasy characters. And there's one misconception in that interview that people keep having, and that is like, it's getting annoying at this point, but it's that people keep saying that Nomura confirmed at that interview that Final Fantasy won't appear in Kingdom Hearts 3 at all. Like, and that's not the case it wasn't said at all but maybe they misinterpreted the interview or something but back during e3 he was asked about the involvement of final fantasy this time around in kingdom hearts 3 which he responded by saying i can't disclose too much about final fantasy characters or whether or not they'll be in kingdom hearts 3 because i can only speak to what's been shown but the reason that you haven't been shown any final fantasy characters is that there are so many original characters that need to resolve their own problems and issues and because their issues and problems are very difficult that there just hasn't been much space to fit Final Fantasy characters so far. Now that wasn't exactly a confirmation at the time that they wouldn't appear at all, but just rather that Kingdom Hearts as a whole has gotten to the point where the original characters have so much story amongst themselves that they don't exactly need Final Fantasy characters to help add on to it. And you know, with Kingdom Hearts 3, you can obviously tell that the story amongst each and every little original character is so gigantic that there's no space like he was right in that interview there is no space to put a final fantasy character now obviously if radiant garden and i have a theory about this and it's going to be sad when i explain this but obviously final fantasy characters could appear in radiant garden but the problem i'm having with radiant garden is that it dates all the way back to the interview with Nomura when he was talking about there are certain worlds where there's going to be only cutscenes and they aren't exactly going to be playable just like Lee and Kyrie in that cutscene that's not going to be a place where you can access and play that's just going to be specifically for story and we have not seen any gameplay for Radiant Garden now obviously they could be saving that for a secret but why you know but what they have done is shown cutscenes in that world that we've saw like with the Enzo and it just kind of makes you think is radiant garden going to succumb to being a world that isn't going to be playable now that scares me because if that's the case then they don't that's the perfect way to out the final fantasy characters you know that's the perfect way and obviously there's that moogle that could be the confirmation that they could be in there but at the same time moogles are going to be used for synthesis you know or could just be shops and stuff like that you know they have their own little side thing that they don't really add on to the story, but that's okay. Now, with the uh, Final Fantasy characters, they used to add on to the story, but now they're not needed, so they could just be outed. And that's the perfect way to do it, sadly to say. And don't get me wrong, Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be a godly game. It's going to be so fun. But I will be kind of disappointed, because one thing that I did love in Kingdom Hearts, you know, just the games in general, was the fact that there was a slight chance that you could have a cameo from your favorite Final Fantasy character or even a character from a different franchise because if there's not any Final Fantasy characters other than that one then what's to say we might not even get a different character you know a slight cameo from another franchise specifically like how they did with the world ends with you you know so it just kind of makes me think like is there going to be even like optional bosses now obviously they're going to have that but what about Sephiroth? What about Gilgamesh? You know, Kefka, all that. Arden, because I'm still I'm still pulling for Arden, but like there's so many things that they could do with optional bosses. Even if it's just like optional Disney bosses, that'd be fine. But what about the potential? Because I've seen a lot of people wanting to face, you know, some more iconic Final Fantasy bosses. Cause if they did that, if they decided, you know, to out all the kingdom, I mean all the Final Fantasy characters and instead included optional bosses from Final Fantasy, like maybe a couple of them, or maybe even just one, like Sephiroth, I'd be fine with that. As long as they have him in there and give us that climax of a battle, I'd be fine. I would be fine with that. That'd be cool. But obviously, that's not even set in stone because he was talking about in an interview that maybe he thought that he felt that fans would find another battle with Sephiroth redundant. And I mean, people do think that, and I hey. That's that's their opinion, but I indeed would love one. You know, I would want another final battle with Sephiroth. But yeah, just let me know down in the comment section below what you all think. You know, are you going to be sad if there's no Final Fantasy characters at all? Would an optional Final Fantasy character like, you know, boss fight make up for it? You know, 
what do you guys think what's your opinions but hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did leave a like subscribe and you guys know the drill i will see you guys later